A warm welcome to you all. This is Desal Almeida from Vizor Real Estate Consultants. Today we are going to be talking about how not to purchase properties in Goa, Portuguese Houses Edition. Now, first of all, to begin with, Portuguese Houses. Why are they called Portuguese Houses? Because these are houses that date back to the times when Portuguese used to rule over Goa. These are places that are owned pretty much by the biggest or the highest elite people in the region who own pretty much most of the properties in uh, Goa and probably still do till date. Of course, this is one of the reasons behind the glam and the hype for owning a Portuguese house because it implies status. However, with everything good comes a lot bad. As suggested, Portuguese houses date back to the old days. This date back to people who we call landlords or FY also known as barkas by Goans over here. Now, this means that these properties have been passed from generation to generation. Families and decades have seen this respective property being passed over. What does this mean? This means that this respective property could have had a stake by X number of people, countless number of people. Now, how do you verify that? Before you purchase a Portuguese property, you need to verify that the entire family tree has been cleared and there is, there is a respective documentation that accounts for each respective person who could have had a respective share in the property. This does not mean that even if the property has already been sold to some outsider or some person who is not belonging to this family, that does not mean that you are clear to buy it from him. It still implies that this person can still show up and continue to <coughs> withheld the current sale that has been executed. So it's very important for you to make sure that every last documentation right from the history to a clear title uh, of handover of possession of the property has been cleared from each, each respective handover to each respective ownership. Now to this I will say, do not purchase any kind of Portuguese property that has any form of litigation issues on them. People in the past, even after warning them, they have purchased such properties, they have managed to execute a sale deed on them in some way or the other, mostly illegal. And uh, today they pay the price for it in a very bad manner in terms of costing, in terms of stress and in terms of time. As such, do not go or even consider any kind of a Portuguese property that has any amount of litigation issues on them because they can grow and become really huge one day. As such, make sure that you keep yourself safe and your money safe before you jump into something just to get your dream fulfilled quickly. Now, as I said before, with a lot good comes a lot bad. Portuguese houses with all their beauty, their glamour, their status and their amazing architecture, they come at a great price. Just because you pay an X amount for a Portuguese property, that does not mean it's the end of discussion. Portuguese properties are very high maintenance. You need certain level of the people with a great amount of experience in order to be working and beautifying or bringing a respected Portuguese house back to its status. All this comes at a great price. Make sure that you are very well aware of how much you need to invest before you purchase a Portuguese property, especially one that is completely ruined. It's very difficult to find Portuguese properties nowadays in Goa which are in great condition because a lot of people have not been able to invest the amount of money it takes to keep them in prestige condition. So as such, make sure that you are very well aware of the amount of expenditure, the costing and the type of people you need in order to execute the, the beautification or the renovation of a respective Portuguese property in Goa. Before making any kind of payment against a Portuguese property in Goa, be it a token price or any kind of a payment just to secure the property before it goes in the market to somebody else, make sure that you make the payment to the correct person. A lot of cases, many times Portuguese houses have been tried to be sold and have also been sold by caretakers of the respective property. As such, they are not the actual owners. A lot of the times they were just given an MOU to take care of the respective property but they have been able to acquire papers that can assure them that they are the owners, that can assure you as a buyer that they are the owners and they have the ability to sell. Many times people have sold properties and turns out that they were never meant to be sold or they were never in the market in the first place by the actual owners of the property. As such, be very well aware of what you do with your money, especially before you pay any kind of a token amount or any kind of a booking amount for these properties. Even if you do, make sure that these are done against a very consolidated and strong paperwork or documentation or some kind of an MOU and that you and your money is safe before you enter into any kind of contract that involves Portuguese houses in Goa. Also, many a times, Portuguese house owners or the property owners tend to not be wanting to spend any kind of money because it is owned by a lot of the family and none of them want to chip in or basically there's a dispute but they want to sell the property. As such, in many of these situations, 
real estate brokers or agents step into the picture or are hired by the respective family to come and bring the property to the point of sale, sell the property and uh, of course uh, charge the respective fee for the sale. Now in this process wherein the real estate broker brings the property to the point of sale, they personally pay for the expenses incurred like updating the papers, making sure there is a clear title and all such activities. And in this process they spend their own money. Now of course they do the same against the respective documentation to ensure that their money or their investment against this property is safe. Uh, against this property for sale is uh, safe. How do they do this? They sign an MOU with the respective owners. However, many times in a lot of situations, the respective uh, family members or the respective owner has sold the property without the involvement of these brokers. It may be directly or it may be through some other broker altogether. And this MOU that was signed with a respective uh, real estate broker it gives the real estate broker to have an entitlement on the moment this respective property is sold. Now this may be irrespective of you have already paid your commission or to some other broker or you have not paid the commission at all and have approached him directly. Make sure that the respective Portuguese house is not under any form of MOU or memorandum of understanding with any kind of real estate agent or any kind of real estate broker. And finally, a lot of these Portuguese properties tend to have been abandoned or just been left as the way they have been for a large period of time. As such, over the period, they tend to have acquired or accrued a large number of encumbrances. Now, these encumbrances or dues basically can be in the form of water bills, electricity bills, or even loans for all that matters. As such, it's very important for you before you purchase this property to request for a freshly issued nil encumbrance from the respective owner. There have been situations wherein bills have accrued or electricity bills have been accrued for the respective property because they have not been paid for the for years on end in the lakhs and lakhs of amount. Water bills not much scenarios, but again you never know about it. As such, it's very important to know that the property that you're buying does not have any kind of debts or dues attached with it. Because if you do the same and do not make sure that they have been cleared or without your knowledge, they have not been or you purchase the property without the knowledge of the same, it can cost you great level of expenses. Also, please check whether any tenants have been assigned a right to have any kind of an ownership or any kind of entitlement to the respective uh, property through the respective channels of the Gazette of the government. Also, never cheap out, I always repeat this, never cheap out on a good property lawyer, especially for Portuguese properties here in Goa. To end up, thank you so much for your attention guys. I hope that this video is able to keep and make you understand some of the major factors of what you need to know before you purchase your dream Portuguese house here in Goa. We have recently launched our own website and platform wherein we cater to pretty much every last requirement through our highly experienced team. The name of the platform is www.goapropertydeal.com. This is a platform via which we deal in exclusive deals of properties in Goa. We also provide all services relating to real estate right from development to consultation and much more. We provide one free consultation to our clients absolutely free of course to understand your needs and requirements and we help you go we help you go forward with any kind of projects that you may have in mind to execute here in the Goan real estate market. Thank you so much for your attention again. This is Desmond Almeida for Visual Real Estate Consultants.